Hello, recently we played a game that was inspired by my autobiography, Drug Dealer Simulator. Today we are playing Super Liminal, and although it's not very well known, these games are actually connected. See, there is no way you can experience the things you will see in this game unless you do copious amounts of hardcore drugs, leading some very smart people to theorize that this game is a sequel to Drug Dealer Simulator. Seriously, this game will make you go, oh, that's weird, then immediately make you do it again. And if you aren't high right now, you will think you are by the end of it. Now, normally I wouldn't repeat my intros, but taking what I just said into consideration, today we are going to be doing a long playthrough, so sit back, relax, grab a crack pipe, and let's get into this. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Super Liminal, and I gotta be honest, the music is so relaxing. Uh, this is very interesting. I have no idea what this game is about. I have seen it around for years and years, and never watched a playthrough of it because I wanted to experience it for myself, and uh, here we are. Now this game is about two hours long, and we are going to record the entire thing, so uh, really settle in and uh, we're gonna have fun doing this. Now I'm not sure what the liminal in the super liminal means, it could mean liminal space or something else, I don't really know, I really know nothing about it. The one thing that I do know though, is that if you pick something up and you put it far away from you, it gets bigger. Now. That's it. That's all I know about it, and to be honest, that's enough for me. Let's go ahead and hit new game right now and just hop right in. Photosensitive seizure warning. This game contains flashing lights and okay, that was fast. <laughs> Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope will make your dreams come true. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm also very much okay with it. Oh. Oh heavens. Terms of service, oh no. Is this where I sign my soul away? Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just walked through the door. I didn't know it would sign it immediately. I thought I was going to pick it up. This does not seem like a nice place to be. This all seems like a mistake. It's always a good sign when the place is just crowded with security cameras facing every single which way. Uh, let's see. Perception is reality. Grab. Oh yeah, this is where we learn. There it is. Okay, so yeah, so this is all I know about this game. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Can I fall under it? See, and then if you put it through here... That is just- that is so brilliant. I, I love that so much. Okay, so yeah, we have to be very specific about how we manipulate it. Because see, this is smaller, this will be bigger. Even though it doesn't really look like that in the moment. If you come over here, put it up there, look at that. That is so genius, and I think that is the entire premise of this game. So, uh, let's take this with us, just in case we- oh my god. <laughs> So look, if we want to make things small, we just go whoop, boom, there, look, now it's, now it's small. All right, so uh, here we are. Lovely little place. I like these very relaxed, I, okay, I don't like the cameras up there, but I do like the relaxed colors. It's very clinical feeling. It's very- Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. I, I bet I do. Uh-huh. 
hold on a second i'm very curious about something so we it's very very important okay so if we come over this way all right we're not going to accept the terms of service we're gonna go through this way all right and uh it's it's very important that we do not accept those because i wonder what they're going to do if we come over here terms of service accepted what let's see i'm guessing we're supposed to find the door in here let's make the cube big okay that's not as big as i was thinking it would be but let's make this cube big Oh my god, okay, that's a little scary. We'll make it small. Hey, there it is. Look at that. They had it all set up for us. This is beautiful. No ob objects beyond this point at all times. I'm disobeying. <gasps> it won't let me. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. Well, this is strange. Looks like we might have a puzzle game situation. Let's see. Okay, let's- oh god, not that far away. There we go. You know, these calming strains of music are uh, quite relaxing to me, and I, you know, I quite like them. It gives it a very relaxing atmosphere, don't you know? Ah, yes, we're supposed to use the cube to get through. Let's go ahead and just make it nice and big, slowly making it bigger, bigger, bigger. We want it to be bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we're through. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, oh. and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Oh, well thank you for that, and also, what is happening right here? I didn't even notice this until I got way too close to it. That is disturbing and wrong. Clearly there's uh, there's a glitch in the matrix unless that's intended, but I don't think it is. It's also weird to me that there's just boxes around here. This feels uh this feels unfinished. That's all I'll say. It feels like we're not supposed to be here. Ah, okay. This is very simple. They're just kind of uh wetting our taste buds for this whole situation. There we are. Look at that. Uh, it's quite lovely. Quite lovely. I don't know how this is all supposed to really help my psychological state, but, uh, you know, hold right click to rotate. Let's rotate this around. We need it to be a little bit bigger. That is quite lovely. There we are. Now this should be just enough. God, I would love to take a big bite out of that. That looks During amazing. Islands, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay, there's- it's already getting a little bit creepy and quite weird. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, okay, we just need a little box. Oh no, oh no, is this where they give me a choice to, uh... Yeah, it definitely is. I'd be very interested to see how they're upscaling this stuff. I mean, because the graphics must upscale as well, I assume. This is where we have a choice to make. We can branch off of the main path, or we can just continue on and be obedient. Um, I've kind of chosen the non-obedient path, but I think we might do two runs and kind of go through and see what the obedient path has, and, you know, we'll see then, but... The music stopped. Why did the music stop? Turn it back on. It immediately stops. Good heavens. Okay, we're taking this with us. Alright. Oh, the shadow even scales. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return Good God. to the orientation pathway. Okay, well, she's warning us about things, and I'm exploding massive cans of soda. Okay, it's empty now. Please use other door. This is going to turn into a horror game, isn't it? I'm not sure I signed up for this today, but uh, it's too late to back out now. Uh-oh. 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 Why did it make that ominous sound? What the hell? I have an idea for this. Big plans. Can we hop over this? Oh my god. What is that? I see a blue chess piece. Oh god! That was so, so weird. What the hell is happening right now? <laughs> 
This is very strange. Um, 12.05 a.m. I wonder if that's relevant at all. Well, this is weird. I've tried a couple of different things and nothing seems to be working, so... I guess we're just going to, uh, to go through? I, you know, it's a little disappointing. I was hoping for some mind-blowing stuff, but maybe we are kind of set on a linear path here. What have we got this time? Oh, wow, okay, yeah, there's a lot of holes happening in the matrix already. This is very strange stuff. Okay, so we keep dropping this to actually make it smaller, and... Boom? No, not quite. Let's get it really in there. There we go. This is fascinating. I absolutely love this. Um, can I pick this up? No, I can't. Now I'm convinced there's a little blue chess piece hiding everywhere, so, uh... <laughs> That's All environments oh. perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Ah, yes, the old gift card. Uh, well, I assume it's not normal to have broken stuff in this simulation, but, uh, who knows? Uh, let's see, okay. Ah, look at this. Very interesting, and it's massive. Good god, that's- the reality is quite terrifying, isn't it? I mean, cause think about it, you could easily get crushed by one of these things, and it would be very, very unfortunate. Then again, this is a dream state, but... Okay, yeah, this- it's getting weird. It's getting creepy, and it's getting weird, uh, and there's, like, multiple colors, it's giving off, like, a Joker vibe, and it's- it's just all weird. Oh no, is this a looping situation? Good god. Oh, it's a looping situation. Oh god, it's already a horror game. What if I just keep going this way? What if I just continue to walk endlessly and endlessly through here? Well, I've been doing this for some time and nothing really seems to be happening, so I suppose we'll continue on. I feel like if I kept on going, there might be something, but... Uh, who knows? Okay, why is that sign crooked? That- okay, that's why it's crooked. Can we just put this right here? Okay, that opens that door. I wonder why we can close that door. That's the weirdest thing to me. I'm getting more questions than there are answers, I'll tell you that much. Um, ah, wait a minute, we're supposed to- we're supposed to make it do this kind of thing, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Look at this. Alright, so we're supposed to get both these buttons with it. There we are, absolutely fantastic. Why did it tip over on its own accord? Why did it tip over on its own accord? I'm stuck here now! Was that intended? Are they messing with me? No, this is intended. This has to be intended. Why else would they have two doors like that? Let's see, can we pull this off? We can't pull that off. Can we pull down a light? Looks like we can't pull down a light. This is ridiculous. Look at the end. They put a window in here so we could see how we messed up. Well, I'd say that's intended. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and reset checkpoint. Okay, it's staying up this time. That is hilarious. Stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Oh. Oh. Oh, so it won't even give us a choice to finish it, will it? We have some breaks in the Matrix, fellas, and, uh, also the music has definitely stopped. Which is... probably not a great sign. Can we just... can we get through the wall? Nope, we cannot. Maybe we can break the Matrix this way. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the walls are falling down. Oh, yep, there it goes. Alright, this, it's getting weird. It's getting very, very weird. I mentioned before that this could be dealing with, uh, liminal spaces, but since it's called super liminal, I think they're actually talking about, or rather referencing, subliminal, as in, like, subliminal messaging and subliminal type stuff, which is kind of a means of, uh, psychological manipulation or therapy, if you, if you want to put it that way. Um, it's, it's usually used in a malicious context, but, uh, who knows? This looks like a crafting table just sitting out here or something. Um, this, this is weird. We have clearly broken the matrix, uh, which is probably not a good sign. I'm also waiting for this person's voice to, uh, perk up out of nowhere and, uh, scold us. Okay, that is so terrifying. Okay, then the loading screen is getting weird. Uh, the level is loading. Okay. 
nope, this is all weird. This is all very weird, and I'm uncomfortable with it. 3 a.m. This is not great. Anybody else uh, picking up a slight little horror vibe from this game yet? Because uh, I definitely am, and uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think that's what I signed up for today. Uh, but let's see how this goes. Let's see what's around this ominous corner here. Yep, this uh, this feels like a horror game to me. I'm uh, not sure how to feel about it. Oh. Oh my god, I bet that's how many chess pieces are in the game altogether. That's interesting. See, there is one. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks like this is referencing uh, liminal spaces and subliminal messaging. Do we still have manipulation here? Okay, it is making it bigger, which uh, is good because we are still dreaming. This is not the real world. Okay. Nope cameras. Okay, the music started, though. What do we have here? Some doors are best left closed. Uh, push the bar to open. Okay, that's not how doors work. <laughs> Let's progress further into this night. What the hell? I guess we'll exit, then. <laughs> ah, I love games like this so much. God, you know, I told you before that this game was connected, alright? We are clearly tripping major balls. Ah, yes. Exit temporarily removed. Yes, people were using the exit exploit. Uh, clearly, they had to fix that. Uh, you know, you can't really blame them for that one. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. These numbers are not right. What is happening? Uh, yay, yay. Okay, that's clearly a weird perspective, the fucky wucky thing. Ha okay, and that's even worse. Uh, everything is terrible and awful, and I want to go home, and I'm scared, and I don't like it, and I'm uncomfortable. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm turning all the fire alarms on because we need help. Okay, boom. There we are. And the music immediately stops, because why would it keep going? Um, okay. Yeah, this is all, this is all wrong. I am, uh, I am not okay with all of this. And we're out of the Matrix yet again. It's weird that there is a physical space in this space. You know what I mean? That there is even this, like, clearly, like, a physical aspect to this. All right. Oh, a radio. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Alrighty. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. Okay. But not to worry. We're working on it. That's not reassuring, because they are playing around within my my brain cavity, as it were. Okay, that is... <laughs> that's not okay with me. Uh, they are confused. Oh, God. Okay, well, in my opinion, left is always right, so... We'll go through left there, just in case there's some hokey pokey BS going on. Of course, this <laughs> this is genius. I love this so much. And you see, this is the brilliant thing about games like this, is they allow you to take a really weird concept that can really only work effectively in video game form, and they give it a story. Because there are certain things that you just can't really do in any other medium, and this is a perfect example of that. It's weird, it's far out there, it's bizarre, and it works so well in the video game format. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, come all the way over here, I'd imagine. It looks like I'm supposed to use this silhouette to, um, line up with this thing, but I have no idea. If we line this up, will this materialize? Yup. Yup, it freaking will. Oh my god. This is genius. I'm- I'm in love with this. I am in love with this. Look at that. My god- okay. Oh, let's go ahead and turn this this way, because this is clearly meant to be a kind of platform that we can use to hop up here. Lovely, there we are, perfect, look at that. We also have some clearly distorted, weird, funky stuff happening here, so... Let's create the entrance, as it were. You know, the music is still playing, and, uh... I'm really relaxed, honestly. Okay, we have to grab the exit. There we are. Beautiful. Uh, what the- what the hell? Okay, this is kind of blowing my brain. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> my brain's getting blown, son. The music has stopped again. God damn it. What you got, Doc? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. Ah, thanks. But okay. Please keep moving forward 
and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Are you lucid dreaming? Please head up to the exit to wake up. Well, I'd love to know how to head up to the exit, but I assume it's this way. Um, so that's great. Oh god. Give me the cube, son. Give me the cube. Boom. There it is. Okay, hop up here. There we go. Let's line this up here. Boom. Okay. Oh, god. Okay. This is really weird. This is so weird. I don't like this. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn. Hello. Yes, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure you know what you're talking about. Didn't you just say you didn't understand anything about the situation? Okay, clearly we can go up into this door, and I am now curious because I think that's the way they want us to go. So. Obviously, we are not going to go that way. Okay, the music. Oh, god damn it! What the hell? Oh. Oh my. That looks very special. What if we figure out a way to get on top of this building? Yes! Oh my god, yes! Perfect! First try. They are not letting us break the Matrix. It's just a lot of eerie silence happening, which I'm not a fan of. And this looks weird and impossible, so. I'm sure there's a very simple solution. Ah, uh, you know, there's windows up here. And windows mean we can probably grab something through those windows. Okay, did we do the thing? Let's check and see if we did the thing. I'm hoping that just magically rolled over to where we want it to be, although I, I don't think it probably did. It didn't. It's the moon. God damn it. <laughs> well, what are we supposed to do with this now? I don't even know. Oh, you are here. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Dr. Glenn. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately <laughs> run away. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Glenn Pierce. You're a great guy. I love the advice you give. Okay, we have a lot of items here that I can probably use smartly, but probably won't. God damn it. Here we go again. Okay, so what are... How is... Are we supposed to... Oh, wait a minute. There's an exit on the other side of this, isn't there? This is brilliant. God almighty. Don't get lost. What if there's a fire in elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Beer fund, five dollars, Dakota. This, it's, there's weird, weirdness happening all around us to the point that I, I don't even know what to make of it anymore. Ah, this is great. We're back at it. It's 4 a.m. Okay, so that took an hour. Why is the cloud ominously red? I don't like the ominously red cloud. It's, it's not nice. I'm waiting for there to be like an SCP creature over there. Private, can't open that. Is the door still down there that says should be closed? Was that not even here? I don't like the weirdness that this is. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation. You will rectify this failure immediately. Will I? Will I though? Oh, wait, what? What is this? What is that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, this is weird. This reminds me of uh, like a VR chat world, honestly. <laughs> That's uh, very much what it feels like. What if we take an item in here, though? Okay, we can't escape from here. This is like, I don't know if there is a, a way to escape this area, but it doesn't look like it, so... We're gonna go back through the, uh, cosmic tube here. Okay, everything is seeming a little more normal. And the music is continuing to play. Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor, P.S., will get through this. That looks like a TV from the Stanley Parable, which I've also avoided because I wanted to play it someday. There we go. Hop up here. I like it. It's got green apples. I like green apples. This is, uh, you know, honestly, so far, not really creeping me out too much. Okay, and boom, you're coming with me. Oh, I have another one. 
Oh! Okay, you can't just do that to me. The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Why so many cubes? Oh. What? Oh, what? Why, why am I making the vents erect? What? Why, though? But, but why? Oh, but why? I really hate all of what this is. Okay, so we can lock that in place. Um, which, wow, weird, first of all. Oh my god, what is that? I saw something. Okay, so we're paused here to get a better look at this thing, and, uh, first of all, enhance, and then... Second of all, I have no idea what it is. It looks like maybe a building or something. I I, I have no idea. Uh, I see plants. It, it looks like a building blueprint, honestly. But I don't recognize it. It doesn't mean anything to me, so who knows? There we go. Absolutely lovely. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Okay, so what she's saying is that eggs. Also, why is this so goddamn creepy for no reason? Good God! All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so she's basically saying that by exploding my brain, uh, that uh, that's the safest. Oh my God! It's a ducky. That is an adorable ducky. Oh, God. It just got so much less adorable. Oh no, his squeak gets deeper. Our overlord is here. This is the true SCP. God, he's so menacing. Oh, good God. Okay, don't lunge at me like that, Ducky, please. Alright then. He's he's normal. We like to see normal once in a while. You know, I trusted you. Alright, look, I, I know you're gonna do something stupid. What do you got? Sure. Sure, why not? Why not? Is this gonna lead me back to my room? Ba ba do ba, ba ba do ba. 5 a.m. All right, it is getting to be a point where it would be uh, daytime, I believe, which is totally awesome. Still no SCPs down there, which is uh, exactly what we wanna see. And uh, Dr. Glenn, Dr. Glenn. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? You know, Dr. Glenn, I gotta be honest, I'm, uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty positive and pretty chipper about the in entire situation. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna rewind that statement because, good God, <laughs> there is a lot of finality to this hallway. This feels like something out of alien isolation or something. Good Jesus above. No! No. No! 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 Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh my God, no! Dr. Glenn! Dr. Glenn! Please, please. All right, uh, you know what? I am calm and relaxed. I'm going to take a green soda for protection. Come with me, good sir. Oh, man. They are really gonna do this to me, huh? <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love it. Green soda, please protect me. Good God above. This is, uh, this is not cool of them at all. <laughs> Actually, uh, really, really not cool. This looks like a place where mannequins would appear or something. Eh, that's a flashing light, which is always a fantastic sign in a horror situation. Ugh, it's, just, it's dark. It's very dark. Uh, a lot of lights happening, a lot of, a lot of darkness. Oh! Okay, alright. This is fun stuff. Fantastic. We're in, like, a, a freezer, it looks like. Lovely place to keep a body. Uh, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I thought I was signing up for a nice little Stanley Parable kind of situation, and that is not what I signed up for. That right there. I, I hate all of this so much. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hello. What's up? <laughs> 
No! Not what I signed up for! Oh, oh god, why did we jump so high? What what was that? That was beautiful. Um, yeah, okay, so look. Look, I thought this is gonna be a nice little happy time. Uh, and it is not. Okay, no, alright, we're fine. You know, this is alright. I am at peace with the situation. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so Monday, we uh, we actually have murder scheduled, which is completely normal for a Monday. Uh, Tuesday is murder. We have Wednesday, which is also murder. Uh, Thursday, surprisingly, is murder. Friday, we have murder. Saturday, we also have murder, but bigger. And then on Sunday, we have beans. So really, just a, all around, just a normal week uh, for me. I'm not really sure. Can we jump down here? Nope. This is a this is a mat. Okay. All right. Not really sure what we're supposed to go. Oh. 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 Wait a minute. Hello. Nice plants. Oh, okay. Um, let's go over here and see if there's another way to go about this. Let's see. Oh, oh, there is. Ah, it's slightly different. Okay, we just have a light. Is this door gonna open magically? It is not. Nice plants. Uh, weird place to have them, but, you know, uh... <laughs> Again, left is always right, boys, so uh, we're gonna go this way, because uh, that's how we do things. Oh god, die. <laughs> Diet soda. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> uh, I feel better. Ooh. Okay, I, I was feeling better for a moment, but now I don't. And also, we took the way the serial killer took. Uh, emergency generator this way. Great, I will follow the path of blood and gore. Ah, a big dark room. Also, just nothing but, nothing but positive vibes. Oh my lord, okay. Well, probably shouldn't go down in the pit. Is a big tentacle gonna come up and grab my sweet cheeks? <laughs> okay, nope, I guess not. Um, let's take a peek and see. You're not gonna get me this time. Is, is there really no way to just get around this thing like normal? Ooh. Hello there. Do not creak, all right? I asked you so politely to not creak, and yet you still did it. <laughs> uh, how dare you? Oh, great, I'm gonna have to jump for it. I, I don't think I can even make that, but let's try. Oh my god, we actually made it. Legendary stuff. <laughs> you didn't get me this time, game. Uh, I fear you not. Dr. Glenn! Hello, Doc Glenn. I have so many questions for you. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Oh, Dr. Glenn, I think there's way more pressing matters, such as the body that is around this corner right here. Okay, I, well, to be fair, there could be a body in that corner, but I just can't see it. But, uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, hello! <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh! It's beautiful. We got good old dye soda over here. Absolutely lovely. What hocus pocus BS have you got for me here? Ah, pitch black, which is fantastic to see in a room. Um, yeah, so, okay, money is on this door right here, closing directly behind me, which, uh... You know, you know, originality in video games is something that we're gonna have to talk about. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna die. Uh, come on. Just do it. Just just do it. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like that. Uh, okay, that's a sink. Nothing to be scared of. It is the sink SCP. It's uh, <laughs> quite beautiful. Ah, the arrow. Okay, let's go over this way. Stairs. Hey, I love stairs. Stairs are my best friend. You know, uh, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling some type of way, actually. Uh, Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. 
You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. I tried, okay? If you stopped removing the exits, then we wouldn't have a problem, okay? I- it's not my fault. Also, pure red light is always a good sign in horror games, so, uh, you know, we're really just, uh, just making only positive moves here. Um, can we remove... We can't remove these. That is, uh, an issue. Oh. Well, that's lovely. Ah. Oh, it's a light source. That's genius. I that is so cool. And also very horrifying. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, 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 oh very devious. Ah, uh, I like this. I like it. And by like, I mean I hate. What am I stuck on? There we go. All right, we've got some boxes here. What does this say? N Ray San shipping box, rice cakes, and assorted candies. It's kind of weird to ship rice cakes and assorted candies in the same box, but I'm really not going to question it too much because, uh, why would I? All right, up we go. Can Hello? What am I stuck on? I can't, I can't see really anything in this situation, and it's uh, bothering me. Okay, this is good. This is good. What is, oh, skull and crossbones. Let's see. Don't turn around. I, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> okay, come on. I know we can reach this. I know we can reach it from here. Come on. Got it. There we go. All right, so now that we have gotten the chess piece up there, which I, I'm pretty sure is just a collectible and doesn't have any significance at all to the story, let's move on. Oh god, it's not even that creepy, you know, but it's just the idea that they would take this game and turn it into a horror game. It's just so goddamn devious. Uh, all right, Light. Farewell, you've been a good friend to me. Green soda! Hey, green soda! Yeah, buddy! We do have more blood. It looks like he came from the freezer here or something. Um, we do have Light. Which is, is great. Oh god, that's so ominous looking. <laughs> uh, we got dye soda. Ooh, doorway. Is this going to slam shut again? Ah, bricks. I don't really know what it wants us to do here. Oh, I, I already know. Oh my god. It's so obvious, isn't it? Let's turn it this way. Let's just kerplunk it right down here. Yeah, oh, that is that is really ominous looking. <laughs> Ah, uh, beautiful mechanics. I, I love this. Uh, I think I've mentioned this about a thousand times, and I will continue to say it. This game is genius, and I love it. I also really hate it, because all I can picture right now is a big, creepy arm just drifting in front of my face in here. Are we about to fall into a pit of despair and ill repute? Oh. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Well, I'm trying, okay. This, okay, this lady is just being mean to us at this point. Oh. No, no, where's the knife? Come on! <laughs> Look, the carrots need the knife, okay? Somebody has their priorities wrong. You, you cut the carrots first, and then you kill me, all right? What the hell, man? Ah, yes, doors. Is this going to open? I'm going to get grabbed or something, aren't I? Um, wow, okay, lots of blood, which some might say is a bad sign, but I would actually say it's a great sign, because that means the person is probably bleeding to death and in need of serious help. Thus, they will not be a threat. Is that Ikea? That really looks like Ikea. Okay, it's Idea. <laughs> ah, yes, good old Idea, my favorite supply store. Okay, this is the generator that we've been hearing about. What? What? Is that... is that smooth jazz music I'm hearing? It is. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All the genius stuff that I was saying about this game, it's a lie and it's not true. God damn it. We got beans. We got some beans, boys. Let's get some big beans. Yes. 
beans to make the ground shake. That's what we want in life. What a great experience, man. This is, th these games are too rare these days, you know? I, I just feel like they're far too rare and uh, we need more of them. What a, a brilliant way of telling a story here. I feel much better and uh, honestly much more safe. And we're at the elevator, which is either really good or really bad. Self-doubt and worthlessness. Okay, see, I, again, still, you know, no real self-doubt, okay? Maybe there was a feeling of, of fear back there, but with no self-doubt. Let's see, uh, need to sleep, promotes health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory, why? <laughs> Cloning? Biggest question, which one is real? What is happening? Order longer freezer flaps. That is such a weird and yet hilarious joke right there. Too many. How many really? What? What is... Someone's like having an existential crisis over drawn avocados, which is so funny to me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get in this elevator. Enjoy avocados. I, you know, I don't like avocados a whole lot, but you're, you're growing on me. You're, uh... You're definitely making me think about it. Okay, is this a normal loading screen here? It is not. Uh, another not normal loading screen. <laughs> oh, that doesn't seem normal at all. Great. Good stuff. Do I... Yeah, of course. I have to stop them all individually. This game, man. This game. It just never gives up. That's very bright over there, which makes me happy and... Makes me think that this nightmare might finally be over. Here we are. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so the chess piece. Look, we got another one in that dark room, and it appears here. I, I don't think this will unlock any, you know, second ending or anything like that, but, you know, who knows? We'll try to collect all the ones that we can, and uh, we will see how that goes. Okay, that hallway is spooky. So I'm going to take one of these with me. In fact, I'm going to take as many as I can. Alright, it made uh, the sound of Hell's Gate closing when it breaks, uh, which is lovely, of course. I am taking my little green soda friend with me. Never mind, I'm not. Okay, then. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Still haven't learned how doors work, I see. Okay, you're bolted down. So are you. You're no fun. Um. Okay, you know what? I, I know your games. I know how you work. It's some weird, dumb perspective thing. And, and watch, this is a box, and there's gonna be... Okay, nothing in it. What if I grab the bolts? The sign. The chairs. Fire extinguisher. The boxes. Water. Cooler. Painting. Fire alarm. Dingle hoppers. Doorway! Doorway! Come with me, doorway. Do 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 do. Auto parts. <laughs> you can't fool me, game. You can no longer fool me. I am above you. <gasps> it changes the music! Hey, we got some nice lo fi going on. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? What? <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> really, even with the- Oh my god, I can't deal with this. Are you serious? Oh my god. I hate ev- I hate you so much. God, just let me out. Sure. Why? Why am I even surprised at this point, really? Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. I'll bet he does. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying <sighs> objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let me guess, I'm gonna be able to pick up the alarm clock. Yup. Yup. Oh no, stay up there. What? What the? Sure. Why not? Just get me up there. This game is breaking my mind right now. Okay, we have purple, which is different. I like that. Okay, back to yellow. Well, this is like a different yellow. This is almost more orange than anything else, so... Are you serious? Are you se- Oh my god. Right click to return. I'm right clicking. Oh, oh, okay, like that. Okay, well that makes sense. At least you're not a complete ass. This game is created by the CIA and it got leaked to Steam. 
and then it started selling well. So now they just use it to torture the population and cause mass hysteria. Is, is this how I do it? Oh my god, yes, this is how I do it. You have to make it roll. Yes! Yes! Move out of my way. Don't you dare. Don't you dare play with me. Goodbye. Don't do this. Uh, why are you like this, man? Just why? Just why? Just why? <laughs> oh, man. What about you? You're my salvation, aren't you? I know what you want me to do, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm smart. I'm learning your ways, and I'm learning how you're corrupted soul works. It won't work on me anymore. That's right, that's right. Go little pieces. Go little pieces and be free. It wants me to try for hours and hours on end over there, but I'm not gonna do it. Because I'm too smart. I am way too intelligent for this game anymore. It fooled me before, I'll admit that. It's it's put me through the ringer before, but not this time. Not this time. Come on, you're so close, little pieces. You're so close. Are you serious? Oh my god, I- oh, oh. What, what are you not jumping anymore? Are you not jumping anymore? Are you just gonna- you just gonna- you're, I refuse to believe they actually programmed it to do this. This was made by the CIA. Oh my god. It's just the changing colors and stuff. Oh, oh wait a minute. This is gonna kill me, but I don't care anymore. I welcome it. Whatever. Whatever, man. No, 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 that's not how this works. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. I don't know how that got there, but I'm actually cheating the game. <laughs> Stupid fan, you helped me out. You blew one up here. You messed up, bud. <laughs> No! 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 Okay, now it's throwing them off, which is great. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! I know exactly where you're going. It's like I'm directing you. <gasps> oh my god! I've been dead for the last half an hour, but no longer. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. I mean, I mean at least he's helping me, right? Helping? Is he helping or is he just trying to mess with me? I, I, it's unclear at this point. Okay, back to the ominous hallways, uh, as they mentioned before. Nice music, though. Okay, wow. Look at that, we got- oh God, Stop! This mechanic is just awful. I- and I hate it. Please make it stop. Are you gonna do it too? Okay, the fire extinguisher is my friend. He's the one that, well, remains normal in all this madness, and he means a lot to me. Um... Gallery? Gallery? What does that mean? What's the hidden meaning of that? Of course, they see they they thought I would get hung up on that. This is easy stuff. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Attention, Doctor Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. <laughs> uh, you know, the doctor is currently going insane. We are driving him into madness. And uh, it sounds like he's definitely a real doctor and definitely not a fake one. Uh, so don't ask. He went to school. Trust him. Uh, the beautiful piano music really uh, takes me away, you know? God, it's still doing that, really? They really like this mechanic. Uh, they they really quite enjoy it. Da, 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 da. What's up, Doc? What do you got for me? Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt welcome experience, 
team of your care leader patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Doc, I'm a little worried about you. You kind of sound like if uh, Yoda was doing crack. But, uh, you know, it's probably best not to question him too much. He's <laughs> clearly under a lot of mental duress. Uh, so, oh god. Alright, what have we got here? Um, what if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, beep, beep. 2.08 a.m. or p.m. It doesn't specify. Oh god, okay, emergency exit protocol, and the elevator has a death symbol over it, which is not a good sign, considering I'm about to step into one, but, uh, you know, this is probably fine. Phil's Friendly Family Produce. That's a... Try, try saying that five times real fast. Okay, that... Okay, nope, the loading screen... I thought the loading screen was being... <laughs> I thought it was going to be normal. Oh, God. All right, 7 a.m. Wow, it is... It would actually be, like, day out. Well, this is weird. Um, The relaxation room. Is this, like, a brothel or something? This, it kind of sounds like a brothel. Um, Hello there. Oh! Why, that's quite lovely. My god, we've even got a little chair there with a little drink. Wow, okay. Alright, I... Yeah. <laughs> this is my style. I really like this. I feel relaxed already, and I, I haven't even been to the room yet. About us. Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn Pierce. Soma Script is a company that, I don't know if I said that right, that strives to better mankind through the use of dream therapy to better understand how to solve people's problems. Once we get the kinks worked out, wait, there's kinks? No one told me about the kinks. And receive the proper funding, the world as we know it will be changed. Our mission, is perception truly reality? That's the question we, uh, you, are trying to answer. That's, see, I don't like that. See, I don't like being the guinea pig in the situation, because that never ends well, you know? Our dice exhibit will astonish and amaze you beyond your brain's cognitive limit, thus opening your mind up to the new possibilities found within this dream dimension. I, I thought it said dream mention, and I was about to be like, all right, that's, that's a good word. No, you didn't. All right, now it's weird. Now it's creepy. Thanks for that. The relaxation room stopped being relaxing a while ago, so uh, let's move on. The hallways are getting very claustrophobic. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Hey! Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Well, Doc, it's good to see that you're feeling better as well. Um, we got the janitor's closet. Let's see, we have two blue pieces there, which is fantastic, obviously. Every time I've gone down this hallway now, I have a bit of a heart attack. God damn it, I have to leave my soda again. All right, listen, protect me, protect the door. Thank you. Oh, this looks good. Oh, wow. Um. The music is pretty, but I, I don't really like this whole thing. Um, oh, let me guess, I'm supposed to go inside of it. That's quite nice. I like that. This makes me happy. This, this does bring joy. Ah, let's hop up here. Ah, this is not that big, but um, I'll play your game. Why are we so short? Why are we a child now? I'm not sure I like this. What is this? Uh, what childhood trauma are we reliving? That is the first soda machine that has pooped out before it could give us anything, so, uh... It's probably not a good sign of things to come, but... Um, this is the same room. Just a, a different house. Oh. Oh, this is changing our size. Wow, we were supposed to do that! Look at this! I didn't even know it. I'm, like, ahead of the game. Amazing. And now we're back to normal size. Hello, Dr. Pierce. How you doing? Uh, ooh. Well, we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna leave that there. Ooh, I don't like creepy TVs. That is a bad sign. That's a, that's a bad sign right there. Let's pull that. This is a bad sign. 
Okay, it is creepy again. Not ideal. Oh no, the light's gonna come on and it's blinking. Come on, what did we do wrong? I thought we were doing well. Dr. Pierce? Dr. Pierce? Piercey boy! That's not a vibe. That is not a vibe. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Ah, you know, I know very few people that would consider this light blinking, um, soothing and relaxing, as well as this ominous red cord. But maybe I am just, you know, in the dark. With that, maybe I'm the weird one. Okay. This is this just like a warehouse. Um, with a lot of pillows. I like pillows. Pillows are soft and cuddly. Okay. I'm waiting for a face to appear there. Ugh, good. Alright. Well, um, this was plugged in before. I feel like I'm about to get electrocuted. Is that swinging? It is swinging. Great. More horrific stuff. And I'm guessing this won't just be paint. Is this gonna break when I walk up to it? This is a very effective horror game. I just want to let you know. This is, uh, this is spooky stuff. Okay, the music's back. I like the music. We got Jenga! I love Jenga. Jenga's cool. Jenga's cool. It's one of the most nerve-wracking games ever. Why do I hear, like, a helicopter sound? What the hell is that? Is that- oh, oh, it's a fan! Oh! I and it fell perfectly. Wonderful. All right. This is uh, quite fantastic. I actually, you know, I feel good. Um, I don't know why it gave us that really unsettling moment there, but I feel pretty good. Why do I, why am I so big? What am I missing? Come on. There's always a trick to these things. Oh! Oh, no. No. I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. I don't know how to feel about that, but it's weird. Okay. Yes, this isn't smooth and relaxing at all. This, okay. Alright, we have so many issues to unpack here. <laughs> ah, Dr. Pierce, why are you lying to me, man? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Of course. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Doc, you really don't have a license, do you? You know, you can be honest, because clearly I'm never getting out of here alive, or at least mentally capable of being alive in any capacity, so you can tell me the truth. Why am I walking so slow all of a sudden? Is that, is that on purpose? Ah yes, not only are we in the back rooms, we have reached the pool rooms. I want the bouncy castle. This, this bouncy castle has no bounce, we must supersize it. Oh. Oh, I like that sound. Da, 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 da. There is a whole door in this thing that I did not see before. Hey, we're really small all of a sudden. All right. Um, vents. Yeah, why not? Really? I mean, vents are always a good sign. Um, wait a minute. Wait, what? What? Oh, I get it! Oh my god, this is some genius stuff. Okay, look, so we rotate it around, so the doorway is facing that way, and then we place it right over here, yeah. Yeah, look at that! This is, uh, that was just straight up from Portal. Uh, that, <laughs> that is just straight up a Portal move. We don't need you anymore, goodbye. Alright, we're still small, but, uh, you know, we're making progress, and that's not desaturated, which is really good. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. 
Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Well, Doc, you see, there's really no need to thank me. Uh, you know, it's it's just what I do. Um, <laughs> you can call me a genius, you know, uh, if you want to. Uh, you don't have to, but you really should, because I'm clearly a genius. This is the same damn thing, isn't it? We're in a box with, okay, all right, this is kind of cool. They've really just made this into portal for no discernible reason, although I'm totally here for it. Let's make this as teeny tiny as possible so we can take this adorable little thing and go ahead and put it in this keyhole. Look at that adorable little thing. Look at that, it's so cute. Rotate it around there. There we go, fantastic. Again, so strange to add kind of like a portal mechanic uh, to this game, but Again, I'm not gonna question it. Look at that. We got, we got chess. Okay, see, there has been a running theme of chess in this game. We are getting closer to an answer, and that is always a good thing. Um, we also have a house right here, which we can just, I think, just drop right in front of us, if we so desire. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh my god. We're actually so, so tiny that the textures are starting to not even upscale. Well, I think this is just a regular room. I'm not sure there's any secrets to uncover. What a lovely little adventure to be on. Farewell, big chess room. It's, uh, it's been a wonderful time, really. Look at that. This is amazing. Hit the fire alarm, because that's the tradition now. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol to the emergency protocol, question mark? Well, the absolute limit is five to six, so my brain's about to explode, I think, uh, is what I'm getting from this. But, you know, let's carry on. Meetings, meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association. That sounds like a really weird fetish. Okay, loading screen, okay. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Whoever designed those is really a lovely person. It's 3 a.m. again. This ain't right. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, oh. 9, 8, error, error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Okay, uh, that was the first time we heard that voice, and the lady voice, uh, stopped the protocol from going through. Which is really concerning, because we're in our sixth or fifth dream, uh, so, yeah. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Okay, but uh, I'm noticing that this paint is a little bit darker, uh, a little bit less painty looking, and I'm uh, now I am a little bit afraid, because last time you got me. Uh, but this time, I feel like you're just messing with me again. I feel like this is some other substance. Maybe it's birch beer, because birch beer kind of looks red, so could be that. See, okay, see, that paint is darker. And there is birch, there is soda cups, so, again, I'm going with birch beer on this, so, uh, you know, you're not gonna scare me this time. Green soda, please, thank you, come with me. Yep, you're not gonna scare me this time, because you got me last time, not gonna work, so... Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. What? Reformulating. Okay, you have no idea what's going on as well. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. What? What do you mean? Okay, all right. Okay, so you're putting me in a unending loop of pain and... Okay, wake up. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. It, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Nope, come back. Wait a minute, wait. No, no, you can't do this to me. What, you can't just end it like... Oh. Hello? Okay. It's really quiet. I, I, don't, I don't like the quiet. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, appreciate that. Oh, 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 what? What the hell? Don't you dare get in the way of me and green soda. Don't you dare do it. No, 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 no,
Give me my green soda. Oh, you're gonna ring again. You're gonna ring again. Okay. Oh, okay. What? Don't you dare do this to me. Shut up. I'm getting my green soda. Huh. Green soda? Green, green soda! Hi! Oh. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I will come back here and smack your snooze button. Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Why are you making ominous sounds? Okay. Doctor! Hey, Doc! What's up? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Okay. Well, I'm glad you explained it. Uh, that was very informative, Doc. Okay. Okay, you're so ominous. Okay. Money is on the lights, turning off, when I reach the middle to third space of these, like, little bumps there, so... Yep. Okay. That's really weird. Um... Okay. Sure. To be fair, at least they're changing it up. Give me green soda. Come on, come on. No, green, green soda! No! Come back! I will find you, my friend. Come here. I can't pick you up. Really? This is BS. Oh! Oh! Good God. This... everything seems fine here. What, what the... what is happening? <laughs> Bye, green soda! Ooh. This is wacky. Alright. You know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good for as messed up as this is, and the possibility of me never getting out of here in one piece or as a sane person. I'm kind of okay with this. Ooh. That's a big crack in the matrix. Let's go to it. The music is very ominous right now. Ooh. Hey, Doc, what's up? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. All right, Doc, that's weird, but uh, you're a professional, so not going to question it too much. Okay, so uh, if I line this up, are you going to become a cube? Let's see. Oh, you smart asses. You knew I'd do that. Oh, you're so smart and I hate it. Oh my god. That is so genius. Good goodness gracious. Um all right. Well, we got to supersize this thing. I hate everyone responsible for this. Oh my god, an elevator? Why is the music so good? That is so sick. All right. Um, this is the same billboard we've seen a thousand times. We have an elevator! Let's go! Next dream, baby! We ain't even got a picture in here. That's how edgy we are. We're living life on the edge. Exit temporarily removed. I'll temporarily remove the removal. How about that, huh? Oh, 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 okay. We almost fell down again. Recycling cardboard only. They put plastic in it, goddammit. Really living on the edge down here. Check it out. Dead end. Stop. No trespassing. Perception is re is not reality. Okay, all right, let's do this. Come on. I'm ready for anything. Bring it, you cowards. Bring it. What do you got? It's all you got? Really? This is it? This is it? dun 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 Oh! Well, I did something right, or wrong. Why is it so loud? It's like an underpass or something. Yeah, it is an underpass. Interesting. 
huh, there is some weird overarching story happening here, and I really want to figure out what it is, because there is some weird, weird references going on. Oh, I don't like that. We got a smiley face thing going on. I'm not big on the whole smiley face deal. Green soda! Hey! I've missed you, green soda. Ah, oh, goddammit. You, uh, you, hold on. I'll be back for you. You wait there, okay? Dr. Pierce! Dr. Pierce! What's up? You're alive. I don't like the queen being alive. Okay. Hello! Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up even with the help of triggering mechanisms. As much as the thought of running out of dreams is tantalizing to me, uh, yeah, no. I don't think so. What? What is going on? What the hell? <laughs> okay, you hold, hold my spot there. Thank you. Green soda! Green soda! Green soda! Whee! Oh! Okay, I find it best not to question at this point, really. Hey, it's the avocado bed. Hey, cube. Oh. I don't know which way to go, so I'll go this way. All right. God, God damn it, what is, what is this? Come on. Okay, I'm up here now. Oh, fire alarm. I, I have to hit the fire. We're back here? No way, I remember this. This was ages ago. Yeah, the good old days. This is different. This is not different. That is different. Okay. Wow. Um, Perception is reality. Well, you're different, so I guess I'm going to go in you. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. You're making me go in a circle, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not making me go in a circle. You're making me go in a zigzaggy pattern. We're zigging, we're zagging. We're zigzagging. Ooh. Okay. We have zigzagged to a place. Doctor! Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Okay, so we're back in what looks to be an underpass again. There is definitely, like, an overarching story of trauma. That door's gonna open when I press this. Told you. Told you. Oh, God. What? I love this so much. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Dude, what the hell? All right. That is such a weird effect. Hey, we got a thing. Starcoin. Or Staircon. Annual conference this week featuring... All right, are you gonna be normal loading screen? No, you're not. Okay, then. <laughs> God, the atmosphere too is just mwah. It's just chef's kiss, really. Oh, wow. This looks- Highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Oh, oh, look at the corners over there. It's doing like chromatic aberration or whatever. That's a, uh, that's a little spooky. Someone's got some sick drums going on down there, man. Ooh, check this out. I don't like that. Oh, that's dusty. 
diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. Paradox behavior 101, aka don't do it. Never. Okay, did I just, did I do all that? I probably did. Music too dang loud. Scent of burned curry. <laughs> Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Race and Medical for increased canister order frequency. What if I carry this through the portal with me? Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. 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 May result. Please paradox overload. overload. Okay, things are about to go boom. We were never meant to leave in the first place. This is our destiny. Doctor! What's up? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. This doctor is certainly a man of very many strange statements and moods. We also have cameras again, which is maybe a good sign. And green soda! We are going to make the biggest green soda ever. Be free, green soda! Be free and live forever! You kind soul, you have served me well, and you deserve to be happy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling that this story is wrapping up, and I gotta be honest, it's very, very immersive. Uh-oh. <gasps> I love rain. This is wonderful. I can't express to you boys how much I love rain. It's... it's just the greatest. God, I love rain. Oh, it's very quiet in here. What a weird direction to- God damn it! I liked it up there! Now this is- this is weird. This feels like a bank or something. This is very strange. Not an exit. Ooh. Is this the exit? It is! Oh my god. I, I love this so much. I, I really can't express it enough. Um. Okay. Oh wow. There we are. This is very strange. Okay, so I think we're on the other side. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I'm gonna need to like have a breakdown of everything that has happened in this story, because I'm sure there's some deep, like, plot to it, but I just have no idea what's happening. I mean, I see stuff like this, like it's an art exhibit, it's got one light down, it, it's so strange. So we're getting very much like this yin and yang thing with the black and the white, 
Uh, we went through the black and now we're in the white area. This doorway looks too small for us. Um, yep, it definitely is, unless there's stairs. There are no stairs. Oh, wow. I love that so much. Oh my god. I, I think this is like the truest form of this game. Because it's just, it's gone fully weird, fully existential, fully just bizarre and kind of heavenly. Well, Doctor, here we are. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. I, I think he's talking about how our imagination slowly kind of fades over time, maybe, but I'm not sure. Is this a doorway? It is. Oh my god. I feel the need to be in respectful silence. Okay, again, really, come on now. What? What is this? Okay, we have color, um, which is is interesting. These are elevators, I I think. Oh. Oh, it's panels, but it's it's like the elevators. Wait a minute. Of course they'd do that. <laughs> Uh, that is just, that is so great. <laughs> I am in love with this game. Can I just say that? This is just brilliant. It's so smart, it's so dumb, and I just love it. What the hell? All right, we're back at like a neighborhood or something. Check that out. Hey, Doc. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Couldn't this be seen as the actual purpose of this entire thing? I mean, clearly it is in one respect of the word, but I mean, if someone comes in here having troubles, this could be a great experience for them. Very strange. What the hell is all of this? I mean, it, snow? Is it snow or just untextured things? Okay, there's a lot of references, yeah, look, to chess. I can't help but feel like there's some really deep meaning or things to experience or unlock here that I'm just not fully understanding. I have so many questions. Okay, so it seems like there are holes somewhere. Wait a minute, can I step on the... Oh my god, I can! This is genius! I can step on the patches with the chess piece on them. Okay, so I can come out here, I can come on this one, and I think I can go on this one, but I'm not sure about that. I've never really had a puzzle game like this before. It's just very different. The puzzles aren't really that hard, but it's more of like they're just here to kind of tease you a little bit, and it's it's really brilliant. It really is. Yeah, see, they thought they would get me with that one. In fact, they're not going to get me. Yeah, yeah, look at that. They thought. They thought. They really thought. Okay, where are we? Um. Okay, I see a box. Is that just a regular cardboard box? I think it is. This just leads to the void, probably. Oh, oh, it doesn't even lead anywhere. Okay, it's just a zero block, isn't it? Yep, just a zero. How are we even supposed to get up there? I feel like there's a trick to this one as well. I'm just not finding it yet. Hang on a minute. Well, well, well. Again, see, it's just like they're there to tease you. It's not even like it's that hard. It's just like experimenting with your mind and playing with you. We need more of this. I, I can't say it enough. This experience is so unique, and it's just really perfect for games. Like, you can't really tell this story in a movie or, you know, a book, really, even. It's just 
it's so strange and unique, and it really requires the player's just perspective on the whole thing. It, it's really smart. It's just done in a really intelligent way and a really, uh, a very gripping way. Like, it really makes you just get invested in the complete insanity of the situation. And I think that's just kind of an art in and of itself. And there we are. Ooh, this is trippy. Okay. Yeah, see, this is where that warning came in at the beginning, where it's like there's flashing lights and just a lot of weird stuff. We also have seen this shape before on that calendar um, from way, way before, so there's that. Oh my god. Check that out. Oh, it's, it's, we're in the alarm clock. That is insane. 7.29 a.m.? 7.59, my bad. Okay, we're really falling out. 8 a.m. This is the farthest we've been. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. minutes you'll be back in the real world and some part of you will say that none of this was real so how could it have really meant anything but just like the power of perspective itself it will have been as real as you believed it to be all you've got to do is wake up There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Super liminal. I don't think I really have to say this again, but I will. Uh, this game is fantastic. It's, it's really good, and I think this type of game is very rare, few, and far between, 
but it's always really good. Games like the Stanley Parable and games like this, these ones that are very, like, narrative-driven, I wouldn't really say story, but... I would say more narrative just seems more appropriate to describe this. Games like that are always such a joy to experience because they're just kind of rare. I love playing through games like this. I think they're underrated and I think, uh, you know, I want more of them. As far as the whole story goes, it's a little bit questionable, right? Because the whole idea is that this whole thing was planned and it was all meant to happen the way it happened. And that's what they say at the end there. That is obviously pretty questionable. I mean, if you think about it, it's like, okay, so let's Let's take a person who's struggling with their problems in life and let's put them in a situation where they have to fight for their life like <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be a very effective form of therapy, but again, I'm not a therapist, so who knows. The most interesting thing about the whole narrative, though, is their take on perspective. And I can totally get behind it. Like, if you're dealing with a lot of things in life, it's really easy to get bogged down by them. And they can make it really hard and confusing to see the situation that you're in clearly. And I'm very much a person that believes that, like, no matter how bad it might seem one day or one week or one month or even one year, there's always a chance that tomorrow the sun will rise a little brighter, and all those problems that you're dealing with will get better. So, and I think it's crucial to maintain that mindset, because it is true. Any situation you're struggling with can be changed in life and can get better. I truly believe that, and I think it's important to be reminded of that, especially when you're dealing with such an interesting artistic game as this. I think it's a great narrative to go with. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Super Limo. It has been an absolute blast to play, and, uh, you know, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you like the long playthrough that I'm doing. Uh, recently. I've done it with one other game so far, and I gotta say, I really enjoy it, so I might be doing a lot more of these, and, uh, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a whole lot, and I hope you have a fan fucking tastic day, because you, 110%, deserve it. Bye bye